welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will be talking on the topic ovarian cycle so when we are discussing an ovarian cycle it depends mainly on the hormone gonadotropin which is secreted by the anterior pituitary gland now the ovarian cycle has been divided into three part that is the follicular phase ovulation phase and luteal phase in the follicular phase it has been divided from 0 to 14th day and the 14th day the ovulation occur and 14th to 28th day it is the luteal phase now let's discuss on this phases bit more clearly now for the follicular phase for the follicular phase we need to know that it has two part that is the proliferative phase and antral phase which is shown here and in the proliferative phase primordial follicle is changes to primary follicle which is shown here and thus occurring a formation of mucopolysaccharide which is known as sonopellucida and uh, there's a differentiation of theca that is the theca externa and theca interna and theca externa is producing the estrogen which is shown here this red region the red colored line is the estrogen which has shown a up here and uh, there's a future for the estrogen that at low concentration this inhibit the production of FSH and LH which is shown here that is the production of FSH and LH is decreased but at high concentration just look at it here it goes an increase in the FSH and LH which is also shown here now for the andral phase in andral phase a cavity is formed which is known as andrum in andrum there is a filling of fluid known as liquor folliculi and thus occurring the changes from primary follicle to graphene follicle which is shown here and thus occur a formation of cumulus euphorus which is a layer that is two to three layers of granulosa cell and that layers is known as cumulus euphorus now for the ovulation phase which is shown here that is here and this phase has got a property that it got a special process occurring that is alert switch which is shown by this green line and this is the graph showing the LH surge and this is LH surge now a small area on the central part of the capsule protrude like a nipple and called stigma toward the outer part of the ovary this follicular fluid escapes into sigma because of its because it is thin and avascular and finally stigma ruptures and releasing the secondary oocyte into the abdominal cavity now for the role of LH in the ovulation and it causes the rapid growth of graphene follicle and it promote the theca externa to release the proteolytic enzyme which causes the ovulation to occur so the LH is known as the hormone of ovulation. Now we will see about the luteal phase which is shown here from 14th day to 28th day. In here after the ovulation has occurred the wall of the follicle collapse and the blood accumulate in the cavity of the follicle and this is called corpus hemorrhagia. And during ovulation a minor bleeding occur into the peritoneal cavity producing a fleeting lower abdominal pain called mittel schemas. Sorry for the pronunciation if there are any mistake. And now let's discuss on the luteinization. Luteinization means that the luteal cell form a yellow pigment called lutein which is similar to carotene. And here we this formation of the lutein and this cell hence these cells are called luteal cells and this process is known as luteinization and the structure formed is known as the corpus luteum and it secretes some hormones known as estrogen progesterone inhibin and relaxin and estrogen and progesterone has been shown here that is the its progesterone going up and estrogen is also going up 
now in the 24th day if the fertilization doesn't occur and it causes the degeneration of copper lutetium into copper albicans this is called luteolysis which is shown here and that's for the luteal phase that's all for ovarian cycle hope you like this video and thanks for watching if you like this video hit the like button and if you don't like it dislike it and subscribe my channel so that i will get motivated to create more videos for you and share this video to your few friends and comment this video so that i will improve my videos for you thank you and we will meet soon